Hello everybody, welcome to my physical chemistry task 13.63 which I would like to solve for you and the task is consider two solutions one formed by adding 150 grams of glucose to one liter of water and the other formed by adding 150 grams of sucrose to one liter of water. Calculate the vapor pressure for each solution at 25 degrees and we need the information that the vapor pressure of pure water at this temperature is 3.17 kPa. To solve this task, we need Raoult's law, which states that the vapor pressure of our solution is the vapor pressure of our solvent multiplied by the substance amount fraction of our solvent. As we have already given the vapor pressure of water, which is our solvent, we only have to find out about the substance amount fraction of water to solve Raoult's law and get the vapor pressure. So, first step we have to do is find out about how many moles of each substance are in our solution. As we have 1 liter of water in our solution, we have a mass of 1000 grams. We have to divide these 1000 grams by water's molar mass, which is 18.015 grams per mole. And we will see that we have 55.54 moles of water in our solution. We have to do the same thing for glucose. We have 150, 150 grams of glucose divided by its molar mass of 180.16 grams per mole which shows us that we have 0.83 moles of glucose in our solution. Then we have to add the moles together to get the total amount of moles which is 56.34 and then to get the substance amount fraction, we have to divide the amount of moles of our solvent by the, total mole, by the total amount of moles in our solution. So 55.51 moles of water divided by the total amount of 56.34 moles shows us that the substance amount fraction of water is 0.985. We can now substitute these results in Raoult's law to calculate the vapor pressure 3.17 kPa, the vapor pressure of our solvent, multiplied by 0.985, the substance amount fraction of our solvent, shows us that the vapor pressure of this solution is 3.12 kPa. This was task A. Then we take a look at part B where we have 150 grams of sucrose in 1 liter of water. Again, to solve this, we need Raoult's law. And again, the vapor pressure of our solvent is given and we have to find out, or we have to calculate the substance amount fraction. So, the same steps as above. 1000 grams of water divided by its molar mass shows us that we have 55.51 moles of water and 150 grams of sucrose divided by its molar mass which is 342.29 grams per mole and we can see that we have 0.438 moles of sucrose in our solution. Then the total amount of moles in the solution is 55.948 moles and to calculate the substance amount fraction now we have to divide the moles of water by the total amount of moles which is 55.948 and we will see the substance amount fraction of water in this solution is now 0.992. Again, substitute these results in Raoult's law and we will see 3.17 kPa multiplied by 0.992 is 
3.14 kilopascal. So in this solution we have a vapor pressure of 3.14 kilopascal and what we can conclude from this task is that the more moles of solute you have in a solution the lower the vapor pressure will be. Take a look in task A we have 0.83 moles of our, uh, of our solute in task B we have 0.438 moles of our solute so here we have the higher amount and so the vapor pressure is of course lower than in task B or in other words the less concentrated solution which is task B here with 0.438 moles will have the higher vapor pressure which can be seen here as you have 3.14 kilopascal compared to 3.12 kilopascal in task A where we have 0.83 moles of our solute. So thank you for your attention I hope you enjoyed the video and goodbye